Hello and welcome to our second video. Today we're gonna present you how to make this beautiful leather box. Create thread edge and mark 15 centimeters length. And cut out the long belt, which is about 15 centimeters by 44 centimeters. It's gonna be easier that way to cut out the pattern. You can also uh, place the pattern on leather itself and cut it this way. But let's try my way. Yeah, place the paper pattern on the leather and uh, put some weight on it so it doesn't move around. Then we can cut out the sides. Like you can see on the videos, I use a rotary cutter. It's my favorite tool of all. After we got basic shape, uh, we can mark up the holes for the rivets. Here on the video, you can see old pattern. Uh, there will be updated version available on the release of the video. Uh, for this project, we recommend two and a half to three millimeters thick uh, leather. Here, with the side panels, are a bit more cutting out. I always use an awl to mark all my cutting lines. Then use the whole puncher again to mark up the uh, ribbon hold. I use for this project two and a half millimeters, but that depends on what rivets you've got. Unfortunately, here I can't use rotary cutter, so for the more precise cutout, I use utility knife or sometimes scalpel. In this leather box we usually put on motorcycles. Um, it's like a rear rack box. Uh, for smaller motorcycles like Suzuki Fun Fun or anything similar, classic bikes. But you can also use it as uh, some kind of uh, jewelry box or anything else. You probably can see when I'm cutting out my patterns, I don't cut out the corners. Uh, it's because for the next step I use corner punching tool. It's quick and efficient way of uh, making corners. Obviously, uh, everyone got his own ways of doing corners. Sometimes you can use uh, just a utility knife or rotary cutter. But my weapon of choice is a punching tool. You probably notice I use press for my cutting out um, and punching holes because um, I don't use mallet because it's noisy and I work at home. If you have any questions about this project, uh, drop me a comment below. And obviously if you like this video, please click the uh, like button. Subscribe if you want to see more content like this. We will also do some motorcycle uh, content as well. Uh, next week probably we're gonna be on a motorcycle show, so keep up. When you finish cutting out all the holes, it's time to make nice and smooth edges on the main piece to the edges all the way around. And on the side panel, just do the top part. I'm watching this video, I realize I made a smiley face. After creasing the edges, I used top panel. It makes the edge smooth and it gives a nice shine to it. I nearly forgot, uh, we need to cut out the straps as well. Here sometimes I use compass to mark the cutting line. Uh, 
We'll need four straps all together. You can find lens in a button. Now we've got all parts ready, it's time to rip them all together. First mount two small straps. They will create little loops for the belts. And then the longer ones on the other side. If you don't have a press for setting up the rivets, you can use a hammer and an anvil. Install two button studs and secure them with a screwdriver from the other side. Now it's time to put side pieces all together. What I usually do at this point is um, connect two sides, then two other sides, and at the end I do the bottom. Uh, the bottom part is the trickiest part you will see when we get to it. So now we've done the front and it's time to do the back. For most of my rivet work I use uh, 9mm uh, rivets. Uh, they're quite strong and reliable and they are 7mm long so you can connect quite thick leather. If you have anvil at home, I mean uh, in a workshop, um, it's easier to put the rivets together because using press it can be tricky. Now we get to the hardest part I think, um, set the rivets in a side panel and secure it to the bottom, it's the hardest part. And sometimes when you've got really thick leather it's good to skive um, a half of a millimeter and uh, it makes it makes this process easier. To set up properly the bottom uh, rivets I made myself a uh, proper tool to do it. It's a long rod and I use a hammer and piece of steel on the other side. You can also use standard rivet setter as well, the one which is laying on the table on the right hand side. When all the rivets are all set, uh, we can use bone creaser to make corners look much more neat. Now it's time to do all the folds. Um, you have to do a little massage on the leather, so they uh, nice and keep the shape. Now the last part, pull the long shrub through the loop and uh, mark where the hole should be for the button. I do that step at the end because sometimes um, the thickness of a leather vary. Uh, to make the loops more square use a bone creaser again. Use 4mm uh, button hole punch. If you don't have a buttonhole punch, just punch it with 4mm round puncher and make a little uh, cut with the utility knife. Uh, at the end, shape up the box so it looks nice and square. And that's it. Thanks for watching and hopefully see you soon.